I can use the acronym C, S E E, and a number line to solve elapsed time problems. In a chart, the S in the word C stands for the start time. The first E in C stands for elapsed time. This is the amount of time that has passed between when you have started something and when something is finished. The last E in C stands for end time. On a timeline or a number line, the start will be on the left-hand side, just like when we read. The end will be on the right-hand side. The elapsed time is in the middle because this shows the time that has passed between the start and the end.